Hey guys, let's talk about what it's like to actually build a personal brand. I wish when I was Logan's age that I had this kind of advice. Did you know that just a couple months ago that CNN interviewed him live on Mark Zuckerberg testifying before Congress on Senator We Run Ads? So how does someone like Logan go from being a BYU student to having Mark Zuckerberg come up to him and say, can I take a picture? And then later be on CNN interviewed live in front of millions of people. We want to talk to you about what those steps are so that it's realistic for you as a student, even though you think there's a million miles between you and Ty Lopez, and maybe you're still quite a ways from figuring out what you want to do as a career, or you're not famous or known for something, there's actually steps that you can take, and we want to talk about that for the next few minutes. What's that like? Like Dennis said, it's definitely a pretty sweet experience. I think the biggest thing about personal branding we want to talk about is it's a process, right? This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not you start today and you have results tomorrow. So being on CNN, having a picture of Mark Zuckerberg, really cool experiences, but I got those opportunities because, you know, I started putting in the effort, making one of my videos. Some of the things we talked about, you know, I really put forth the process, right? I was doing them consistently. It's just like exercising. So I'm excited to kind of talk about that. So it's nothing special about me, right? It's something that anyone can do. Uh, consistency is a huge key though. Yeah, don't think that you have to be famous, that you have to be an expert, that you have to know a lot of things. The key to personal branding is what you already have right here. And you're gonna learn in other expert sessions on how you can make one minute videos. Ben's gonna teach you on how you can set up your website. We're gonna talk about how you assemble content because I remember when I was in college 20 some years ago, I didn't even know what I wanted to be. I didn't know what I stood for. I didn't have any areas of expertise. I didn't even know what kind of major I was gonna be doing. I thought you know, I could just as easily be like a doctor or I was gonna go work on Wall Street, right, in Goldman Sachs. And so it's kind of tough because to have a personal brand, you have to first decide on a few things that you're interested in. So Logan's a big fan of LeBron James. So Lebr when LeBron moved from Cleveland to LA, now we're big fans of LA, right? Unfortunately, yep. And what else, think about like right now, pause this video for a second. Think about what things you care about. Do you like to play Fortnite? Do you like to surf at the beach? Do you really like to play golf? Are you a big fan of the Nissan 300, 350Z? Are you like, what are those different things? And when you make a list of these things and you start blogging about them, start talking about them, start writing product reviews, when you act like a journalist and when you start interviewing other people, that's when you start to be known for these kinds of things and treat it professional, right? Put on a nice shirt. When you meet, let's say for example, your parents, maybe they know some people that are successful. You can interview them, and that's building your personal brand. The fastest way to build your personal brand is you take this thing out, and you just say, hey, Logan, that thing, like, I'd love to hear about what that was like when you were with Mark Zuckerberg. Can you tell me right now in, in one minute, like, what was that like, hanging out with Mark Zuckerberg, right? And literally, you just do this. You need to master how to do this in building your brand. When you take that content, where you stand for certain things and you put that on your website, you put that on your Facebook page, you put that on LinkedIn, your classmates will see it and comment. You start to boost that for a dollar a day. You can advertise on Facebook for a dollar a day, right? Off of your page, not your profile, off of your page. That's the key to building a brand and you're going to need it now. Don't wait until you graduate. Don't wait until it's too late and you have that regret where it's like, oh crap, it's time to find a job. I, th I thought I could take this degree and turn it in at the window for a job. I had that horrible feeling when I was graduating, when I was at SMU for my undergrad in Dallas, and I thought that because I had all these good grades and I was a full scholarship student, that I could, I wanted to work at Nike. I applied there, they wouldn't even interview me. I applied to work at American Airlines because I really wanted to travel. I thought that'd be really cool. I couldn't, I had the first round of interviews and all these other kids, they got, you know, second round interviews, got jobs. I, it was a horrible situation for me because I was just like, I'm never gonna get a job. I don't know, maybe you can identify with that, right? Yeah, I think definitely. And personal branding is not just about becoming famous, but like you were just talking about, Dennis, it's about, you know, investing in your future. Because think about how jobs happen, right? A lot of it is referral. It's all about who you know. So if there's a new opening in some company, they're gonna ask the people already working for the company, well, do you, do you know anyone that can do Facebook ads, these different things? So you've probably heard the statistic that the average person changes jobs seven times within the span of their career. 
by building your personal brand, growing your network, you're investing so that if you need to change jobs, you'll have a lot of opportunities. And for me, for example, there's effects of having pictures with Mark Zuckerberg being on CNN. I've had a lot of people approach me with different job offers, but one of the reasons among many why I haven't taken them is because working with Blitz Metrics gives me the chance to continue working on my personal brand. And I'm happy working here, but I also have peace of mind knowing that if anything ever does happen, you know, because of the brand I've built for myself, I won't have any problem finding work in the future, right? So you want to build that same investment for yourself so that as you get started in your career, you know, you, you're opening doors for yourself, opening paths for yourself right now, like Dennis mentioned, you know, now's the time to get started. And you know, you've probably heard your net work is your net worth. So it's not who you know, it's who knows you. So Logan, by actually reaching out while he was a student to his professors, to other people that maybe have come in to guest lecture, by you guys reaching out to Logan or reaching out to me, feel free to do that and we don't bite. You'll find that people that you meet in the community, if you just reach out to them, connect with them on LinkedIn, read their stuff before they come and speak, 90% of them will say yes. And if you do that homework, I mean, don't try to reach out to Richard Branson or Elon Musk or something like, take the baby, you know, take like a B-level celebrity and then say, hey, I'd love to interview you for one minute. Don't just take a picture with them because anybody can take a picture with Ty Lopez or whoever. Make a one minute video, but do your research in advance. I can't tell you how important that was. Like for me, the way I got my first real job because of personal branding is I was able to, I, I was mentored by Al Casey, who was the CEO of American Airlines. And so I worked at American Airlines as my first real job. And if I didn't build a connection with him and he was able to pull some strings, because I was definitely not qualified. There were people that were way smarter, they worked harder. I mean, maybe they didn't have better grades. I had really good grades because I'm Asian, right? But think about all the, all the things that you can do now in terms of the people that you can meet. And when you have that personal brand, like the very fact that Logan has things where he's on CNN and there's pictures of him and Zuckerberg, he now can charge $1,000 an hour. Can you imagine that? I remember when, when I was in college, I thought like 20 bucks an hour was like a lot of money. Because everyone else, like if you're working in in and out or something, what are you making, like nine bucks an hour? Maybe, you know, with tips and everything, like 15, right? But imagine like $1,000 an hour. I mean, doesn't that sound ridiculous? Sounds pretty appealing. I think something you mentioned is really key. You know, Dennis was talking about how he was mentored by Al Casey. And whenever I think of personal branding, and having a following, there's two things, right? There's quantity and quality. Most people think first about quantity. When they think of personal branding, you know, it's how many connections I have on LinkedIn or how many followers I have on Facebook. You know, I have 5,000 some followers on my Facebook page. I know some people that have 2 million, right? But it's about the quality. So as you interact with people, maybe you meet someone at an event or in the field you're interested in, maybe you want to become a musician and you meet someone that teaches guitar, right? For you, that's a quality relationship. So whatever vertical, your interest in, whether it's, you know, Fortnite, video games, fashion, music, whatever it is, start building these quality relationships. And it's like any kind of relationship. It takes multiple lightweight touches. So you want to connect with these people first online. So I get someone's business card in an event or I have a conversation with them. I can't just like hope that, you know, destiny makes our past intermingle again. So connect on LinkedIn, connect on Facebook, connect on Twitter. Uh, you can send them a note saying, hey, you know, thank you so much for reaching out, especially if they do some kind of service to you, make sure you reciprocate that, learn to say thank you. And over time, you can build those quality relationships. You don't have to always be pestering them like every day, like, hey, Dave, hey, Dave, hey, Dave, like, you know, or hey, Mark, can you help me with this, right? You know, that's going to put you in the bad light, but you want to follow up, right? It's just like dating, you know, you don't just uh, talk to a girl one time. You have to initially introduce yourself, then maybe after you talk to her a few times, you ask her out whatever it is. So it's the same thing here. You have to build the relationship. So think about who those quality relationships are for you and think about how you can use these online platforms to start building those relationships. And then you guys might be thinking, but I don't really know these people yet. How do I reach out? Do I like tweet at them or do I just go up to them and, you know, be like one of those crazy fan, crazy people. But here's, here's what you do. So let's say that there's another professor, another industry expert giving one of these Stukent expert sessions and you've learned so much. As soon as you're done watching that session, pull out the phone and say, hey, I just wanted to give, I, I, you know, I like Trevor so much and here's a, a, I just wanted to tell you, here are three things that I learned, right, about your session. Or wow, I learned so much about Logan, let me tell you 
how awesome that was for me and I'm going to take action by saying thank you to other people. I'm going to get my website set up like Ben talked about. I'm going to create my Facebook page. I'm going to start making one minute videos. Thank you so much. That is awesome. If you literally do that, you are going to be ahead of 99% of all these other people that aren't going to do anything. Literally, if you do that and then you, you make a video about what you've learned from Logan and you tag him and he notices that, that's setting the ball in motion. Then you can ask him a question saying, hey, I've got an article on the 10 things you need to know about Facebook ads in 2018. Can you contribute one tip? And then Logan's gonna say, why sure, blah, 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 blah. And then you go and you ask all these other people, hey, can you give me one tip on this particular topic? So whatever that topic is that you care about, who's authoritative, who's well-known, can you get a quote from them? Well, first you have to create a summary or some kind of thank you video about their content and then they're likely to reciprocate because so few people are writing those reviews and saying thank you, you will stand out. Definitely. I think another big thing too a lot of people aren't taking advantage of when it comes to your personal brand, if you really want to invest in your future, people are okay with the concept of like investing in stocks or stuff because they want to get some return on it. There's multiple ways to get return on investments, right? Return's not just about financial return. In terms of personal branding, you know, it's more return in terms of opportunities. So if you're serious about this, the first step, like we've talked about, go create a Facebook public figure page, different from your profile, right? A profile, you have friends. On page, you have followers. And from a page, you can run ads. So if you have a really good video telling your story about why you're so passionate about whatever it is, music, video games, marketing, advertising, reading, you know, writing books, you could create that video and then just put a few dollars out there, you know, just to boost it or run it as an ad. It's really simple, right? You know, put a dollar a day against it and you get more reach, right? So that's one way to kind of accelerate the growth of your brand. So if something, a personal brand is something you really want to actually take seriously, that's the biggest way to accelerate the growth, get more followers, get more relationships that way. And I think a few people are doing that because there's mm -hmm. this hesitancy. We're like, oh, you know, I don't want to put spend against my own personal brand. But again, think of it as like an investment for which the return isn't necessarily money, but it's opportunities, which could be financial, could be relationship. There's a lot of different ways, but it is like a true investment. And Warren Buffett said that the best investment you can make is in yourself because Uncle Sam can't tax that like some kind of asset. And someone else said that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So it's not like you're gonna ditch your loser friends, but think about who is it that you wanna spend time with where they're making you better. Other positive people that are moving in the same direction that you are where you can make these different videos together because whether you like it or not, I learned this the hard way, you're gonna be judged by the people that you spend the time with. And if people see, let's say that you wanna get mentored by so-and-so, or you wanna work at this other company, you really wanna work at this other company. If the people at that company see that you're hanging out with these various people, you're interviewing them, there's pictures of you with them, you don't have to be on CNN or hang out with Mark Zuckerberg. If you're 19, and you're still, you're like a freshman or sophomore in college, don't think that, oh, it's, it's too early for me. Now is the time you wanna start. You do not wanna be a senior year graduating, like, oh crap, I should've listened to what Logan had to say. Now, like, dang it, you know, if I had, if I had put in the time, if I put, oh, I'm too busy, I got a final tomorrow. Put in a couple minutes a day, you will be so happy you did. That's the key to personal branding. It's not about you in front of pictures like Lamborghinis and pretending that it's yours and what kind of food you ate. That's what other people are doing on social media. You are a business person. You are using it to get a job, to build your business, to increase these other opportunities, even if you don't know where you wanna go. That's the advice I wish somebody had told me 20 years ago. Your personal brand is what other people say about you. The best way you get that started is you set three or four topics. You can change your mind later, like Logan said, right? Start writing about those topics. Start making one minute videos if you're not really good at writing. Okay, that's fine, right? And when you interview other people and you take it seriously, like you're a journalist, but you just use your iPhone, you don't need fancy equipment, right? You'll be surprised how that puts you ahead of 99% of these other people. Yeah, and just to end, you know, we're coming up against the end of this lesson. I wanna talk about my own personal story. And for me, I grew up in a home that was not about technology. You know, three years ago, I honest didn't even know who Mark Zuckerberg was. But as I was finishing up school at BYU, I took a social media class and I took some baby steps towards working on my personal brand where I just started reaching out to people on Twitter and just sending them messages. I basically said, hey, you know, I, I saw you have quite a bit of following in advertising, which I'm studying. I'm trying to get my feet wet as I'm getting ready to graduate. Do you have any advice for me? Any articles I should read or videos I should watch? 
And one of the guys, AJ, he reached back out to me, he introduced me to Dennis. So it was by just like taking that little baby step, starting to work on my personal brand that's led me to be able to have a job now where I've traveled to six different continents over the last two years. I've seen five of the seven natural wonders of the world, been able to speak at conferences, be on CNN, on TV a few times, and have all these amazing opportunities. So just do something today, right? The big thing is take action. But uh, definitely, hopefully, you guys got some value out of this, understand the power of building your personal brand, and we'd love to connect with you guys online. Let us know on LinkedIn. We would love to help you and see how you're doing.